Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Musings by Nikki. This is Nikki, and I am here with um, some happy mail. And so I have a new one and a little bit older one. This is from maybe like a month ago or something, and I just never got around to filming it. But I've like reassembled as much. I've used a bunch of it already, but I've reassembled the bits because I have to show you this. It is so beautiful. And then this is a new one that I just got like, um, not yesterday, but the day before. So these are from um, Amy at Glamping and Glitter or Glamping Bear. She she um, sent me this a while ago and then just sent me this. So uh, I, because I forgot to film this one, I want to not open. I just peeled it open to make sure that I didn't need to like do anything to get it open. So in about a month ago, like I said, I got this beautiful package and I've used some of it already. But she sent me this sweetest little guest tag thing. So she wrote me a note on the back and then this is so smart. <laughs> so this is the guest check, right? And she turned it into this little, little like um, pocket. It's like a little fold out pocket, but she tore out the words and stuff. Oh my gosh. And stamping and fussy cut images. And then it just tucks behind here. So smart. That's so smart. I have since made something like that. <laughs> then she sent me some of this fantastic um, pillow ticking, like ticking material. It's thick canvasy, but it's got the edges all frayed and she's turned it into like a ribbon and she gave me quite a bit, which is so exciting. I kind of have been hoarding it because I'm afraid to use it. Um, yeah, but I think she, I don't know. You'll have to comment down below, Amy, if you've got this in your shop or not. But um, if you saw my spring journals more recently, I used two, she made me two big ruffles of this in like a yellow and kind of a darker pinkish, maroonish, reddish color and um, big fabric ruffles of it. Oh, they're yummy. So then I got a couple of little lace butterfly appliques and a piece of this beautiful floral lace here. That's the right side. I was like, the other side didn't look right. Then she got me a bunch of, she gave me a bunch of this, like their flat back dimensional trim, pearly trim thing, but um, it was way longer, <laughs> but I've used a bunch of it to make, um, it works great to like cut little chunks out and put it on. Then she sent me, this is like, I don't know if this is sari silk, but these are so fantastic. I, we're going to have to, oh yeah. And then there was another fabric ruffle in there as well. This is thick, kind of like a, not quite as thick as the ticking, but I have a journal in mind for this one. And then she um, does these beautiful hand embroidered, like ribbon embroidered um, little pieces. And she's done some, I, if you've, if you're subscribed to Emma Fremmer's Treasures, I think Emily just used one um, in a journal recently. Or no, maybe it was Dee Dee used one too on Dee Dee Fargo. Anyway, they're gorgeous. And she does these and I love this one. So this one, I pulled it down really quick, but I have it hanging up so I can see it all the time. Love this. I, for so many reasons, love this. And then I wish you guys could feel these. These are silk. They're so, they're so light and airy. I mean, look at this. They remind me of scarves like that my grandma would have worn back in the day. And I honestly, I've taken this out and flipped through it just to like touch them and hold them <laughs> because I don't know if I could actually use this in journals. I, I will, I will make myself. But look at these. They're so yummy. They're so fantastic. And they're so light. I think that's my other thing is I'll have to like, you know, to use them, I'll have to stabilize them somehow with like paper or something. Oh, you guys, it. look at this. <sighs> so pretty. Then this one. And... This one has like gold, little gold stitching in it. Well, it has like little gold thread running through it. Can you kind of see that? And little flowers. Oh my goodness. 
and then this one beautiful and this one has kind of a, a little bit of a sheen to it and some of that oh thank you um there emily amy these these are these i love and i just don't even know how how i'm going to use them because i i'm going to hoard them really is what that is i still am hoarding them okay now let's see what she sent me make sure i got everything out of there Oh my gosh, is this a glue dangle? <gasps> it is! You guys! Goodbye, old pin. <gasps> Amy! I have my very own. Let's clean it up so it's befitting this gorgeous. I see so many other people with these glue. Oh, you guys! <laughs> I see so many of you other people using your little your little bead dangles on your glue and and I get jealous and I probably could have made myself one but I just don't prioritize that. <laughs> and Amy, like this makes my day. I am so excited. Oh. I'm so excited. And I'll never lose it again and I won't have to worry about my little pin on the side. Oh my gosh. All right, and then something else because I got so excited about that. A little note. She says, oh, she knows that I have my little band that I took my pin on into on my bottle. Oh my gosh. She says, if it's not, look at this, doopy doopy doo. If it's not your thing, then feel free to use the dangles on a, um, no, it's totally my thing. And, okay, and the midi journal. So let's look at this. Look, it matches. My bead dangle matches it. <laughs> okay. So this is made out of, just like a nice, um, this is so cute. This is made out of a, just a nice weight, like cardstock. Look at the little pink. This must be like a We Are Memory Keepers or something. The little pink Brad in there. And this tucks behind. That's so smart. To have it tucked behind that and wrap around. That's smart. This is pretty. There's a little butterfly there. And let's just take a little look, see? Little pockets. Ooh, this looks like another, this looks like another really good way to scrap bust. Oh, there's a little pocket there. What bright, cheerful colored papers. Yep. These are so, uh, this reminds me of henna. I used to do henna and music. You know, I love music. I used to do henna, but then squeezing the henna tube for so long. Oh, gorgeous though. This totally reminds me of my mandalas that I used to draw too. Um, squeezing the little henna tube though gets too hard on my fingies. There's a little tag. A cute little mini doily. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh! Paint chips. What a smart way to use it. Oh, hold on. Phone starts ringing. I thought I had it on Do Not Disturb. Um, what a smart way to use paint chips. I have some and I've always wondered like how, but how do you do it? You know, besides just making it into a craft, but that's actually really smart right there. There's a little tuck spot. This is super cute. Oh, oh, and these are a little long. I will um, totally, my jam is to tie beads to those. So those will get beads because that's how I roll. There's the other side of it. Oh, that is so smart. This is a good way to do it. I'll have to pull out my paint chips again and look. There's another tuck spot with a little envelope. Oh, it's like a little double foldy envelope. Cute. More of that cute mandala paper. This is so smart. This is totally going in my purse, actually, is probably what this will do. Oh, I don't know. I've always wanted a, um, 
this might work really well for that too. I've always wanted a little mini journal. When I was making all those scrap journals, thank you. By the way, Emily, this is, or, why do I keep saying Emily, Amy, Emily, Amy? So the, 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 we have a chat, we have a group chat, some of us, and they're on there where Emily and Amy are both on there together. And like, I swear, I can't keep my head straight anymore. <clears throat> Sometimes that conversation starts flying so fast. This is Amy. Um, thank you, Amy. This is, this, I think what this is going to be is I have always wanted um, a mini journal to keep my, I love this closure, by the way, to keep notes about the videos that I'm making or like once I've made a video or what videos I have to come up with, like what ideas I have coming up, this would be perfect for that, like each page. Um, just to keep track of that. So I've wanted to do one of those. And when I was back, when I was doing all of my um, scrap journals, like my scrappy get rid of journal thingies, uh, use up my scraps, I wanted to make myself one. And then I ended up sending them all out in happy mail all over the place. So I didn't save myself one. This I love. So I don't know why you said if it's not my jam, because it's totally my jam. And I will be doing this a lot because how fun is this? So thank you so much, Amy. You are so sweet. I will have her um, YouTube channel below and I'll list her. Um, I'll put her Etsy shop down there too, because you can go see if she's got any of this stuff. I think she lists um, some of these little pieces uh, from time to time. I know that she just is working on some custom ones. So if you are interested in these, she does flowers and all kinds of pretty stuff. So um, you can go check her out and uh, see if she's got any in there that you can nab up quick. Or you could always ask her if she would be interested in doing some custom ones because they, this ribbon embroidery is so pretty. And um, how perfect for like the front of a journal, right? Uh, or like on a little pocket. So anyway, Amy, you are a sweetheart. Thank you so much for this. This, like, this makes my day. And these are so fun to play with. And when I'm in a when I'm in a, a frustrating moment or a rut with crafting, I just take them out and play with them because they're so nice. <laughs> anyway, um, I will be back soon. I have got a whole bunch of like TNs that I've been slowly working through. It's been kind of a rough like week or so with some health stuff but I have been slowly kind of plodding away on my continuing on my um on my like use up all the kits that I've had printed forever or like things I've had all these things just kind of assembled like ready to go but they've never actually come like full circle into fruition like finished so I've done four so far I've got two more in the process right now so I would say in the next few days I will have a video of at least the four that I've got done and uh, then I will continue working and put up another video as well so I will um, see you guys all again very soon have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, middle of the night, whatever time it is on whatever side of the planet you live on. I hope you are well. I hope that you are crafting. Uh, if you're not crafting, if you're not feeling the mojo, I hope you're doing something, getting outside, enjoying some fresh air, reading a good book, having a cup of coffee or tea or whatever, <laughs> but uh, taking care of yourself. So uh, thank you so much, Amy, and I will see you guys all again very soon. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.